All right, today we're going to read about dinosaurs. You think Optimus is going to help us? Yes. All right, Optimus Prime. Well, maybe Optimus doesn't know how to, how to, how to spell dinosaurs. Then we're going to figure it out. Long ago, dinosaurs roamed the earth. Today, you can see their bones at a museum. Dinosaurs are found by paleontologists who fit them back together like a puzzle. Some dinosaurs were very big, like a patosaurus. Its long neck could reach high into the treetops. Other dinosaurs were small, like Compsognathus. It was only about the size of a chicken. As you can tell, I can't pronounce all the words in here. Triceratops. Was a very large, heavy dinosaur with three horns, which is used for protection. Triceratops had hundreds of teeth. New teeth would replace old ones as they wore down. This slow-moving dinosaur that looks like it's wearing a suit of armor is Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus used its club tail for protection. Zip. Velociraptor was a small and very speedy dinosaur. This dinosaur had feathers. Stegosaurus had triangle triangle shaped plates down its back. Do you also see its spiky tail? Stegosaurus means plated lizard. Tyrannosaurus rex was fierce with its large head, sharp teeth, and strong legs. It was one of the most powerful meat-eating dinosaurs. T-Rex arms were very small, even though its body was large. Iguanodon was herbivorous. It means he ate plants, no meat. See the big spike on its thumb? It's used to open fruits and seeds, and also to scare off enemies. Where did dinosaurs come from? Baby dinosaurs hatch from eggs that were laid in a nest. Dinosaur parents dug nests into ground or build them out of mud. Now that you know a little more about dinosaurs, it's time to let out a big dino roar. Baby, you want to do a roar? Roar! Good job. Long ago, dinosaurs roamed the earth. How many can you name? Hope you enjoy the book on baby dinosaurs. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe.